So, if squares and square roots is the unknown, then cube and cube roots are outer space. Are you keen to explore outer space? Yes, today is your time for that. My name is Johan Oosthuizen, and as always, remember to share, like and subscribe. Let's work with these fractions. Welcome fellow problem solvers, hope you're still doing well. So yes, we're working with cubes and cube roots of fractions. Now, important to note, the moment you talk about cubes, we say to the power of 3. The moment you talk about a cube root, we are talking about the third root. That looks like that. In other words, what are we asking? We're asking which number can be multiplied with itself three times and then give us that value underneath the cube root. Let's practice. So first of all, like with our square roots, the same apply apply the, the cube root to both the numerator and the denominator. So that means we can write this down as 1 to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 3. The second part then is to apply this exponent to both the numerator and the denominator separately, which means we will write it down as 1 over 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. That brings an end to this example. Let's look at the second one. Well, we need to pause. We've got a mixed number here, right? So what's the first thing we need to do? Change the mixed number to an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is 5 over 2. Everything cubed. Now we apply our rules. Both to the numerator and denominator. So this, bit, bit, uh, this means then 5 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 3. And now, 5 to the power of 3 is 5 times 5, which is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So there we go. Do we have any common um, factors here? No, we don't. So we are done. Let's look at the last uh, example of cubes. We've got a negative number here. And this is not a problem. Okay? Remember, we are multiplying these numbers with itself. Okay, so first things first is we will say a negative times a negative times a negative will be a negative. I'm going to repeat that. A negative times a negative is a positive. And then that positive times another negative is equal to a negative. So we can write this on the outside now. We're going to say 2 to the power of 3 over 5 to the power of 3. And then this will become a negative. 8 over 125 and that's how we work with cubes now let's move over to cube roots again same rule apply we apply the cube root to the numerator separately and the same for the denominator so what's the cube root of 64 that is equal to 4 What's the cube root of 125? That is equal to 5. And we've, gone, we've done this one. Let's look at the second example of cube roots. We've got a mixed number again, right? So first of all, we have to write it as an improper fraction. So 3 times 8 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. So this is 27 over 8. Then we apply rules. This will become the cube root of 27 and the cube root of 8. What's the cube root of 27? It's equal to 3. Cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Then our last example over here is a negative underneath the cube root. Now this is not a problem. As you can see here, we are not saying beware of the negative. We are saying apply the negative if applicable. Now it is applicable. So over here, we can then just write it down. It is a negative. It becomes a negative. And then the cube root of 27 over the cube root of 125, which then will become 3, negative 3 over 5. There we go. Thank you for your time.